At the end of the day, the president has already taken certain steps. And I already have here, and that was taken after organized labor had raised certain concerns, or before then, even while the Clarion Call had been on. Uh, the five-member committee is in place. Again, we have the recomposition of this entire ministerial committee. It will be the second within the last uh, period that we're having disaster on our hands when it comes to um, illegal mining and the environment. So we have uh, six or five ministers who compose a five-member committee, an inter-ministerial mining committee again. Um, that's a first step. So perhaps the president's call is for you to hold on. Let me move to next year. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Because organized labor is supposed to have a, a meeting today and come out with an announcement. They could even suspend this, I mean, just because of this clarion call by the president. Good morning to morning, our viewers. Morning. Good morning to my fellow panelists. What are you talking about? The president has made an appeal. It is not a consultative uh, committee that we are looking for. We're looking for the president to act. You see, the president is making people like Tonto's life difficult. The president is disrespecting the MPP party. Because I know Tonto. Tonto is a straight talker. And he will say it as it is. Today he can't do that. He just talked. <laughs> I, I think it's a bit... <laughs> I say he I know talked. Tonto. I, mean, no. I have been I have been on platforms with Tonto. <laughs> you mean he's and, more and, and he's more vociferous and, and, than this and, one. And and, and <laughs> I respect him of some of the young people in the MPP, he's one I respect a lot. Okay. Because he will say it as it is. Today, a lot of his kind cannot cannot within himself within himself does he agree to what is happening? If he weren't in the MPP party, will he talk the way he's talking? I doubt it. Let me go to the Constitution. How did I talk? Now, ah. You dancing mean, round what the problem you is. Soft spoken and all that. Dancing round, he should attack the president head on. You mm. talk about committee. Did he not set a committee up before? The one headed by Frempon Boati. What yes. was the result? This it's results, it's results we are looking for. What was the result of that committee? Let me go to the Constitution. What the Constitution says? It says, the principle that all powers of government spring from the sovereign will of the people. What is the sovereign will in this, in this particular instance? And the people calling for a ban. And the people are not saying completely ban mining. They are saying ban mining for a period so that we can put things in place. But then, who caused them? Whose fault is it? Are you trying to tell me that the president... And look, illegal mining, eh? it is profitable. If we are able to put it in line for it to be formal and legal, it is profitable. It will create a lot of jobs. Is that, not, is that not the responsibility of the president to have made sure that they put it in the right, on, on the right footing for it to become legal, for people to be able to mine properly? Shouldn't have been. I would love your producers eh, to play the swearing in of President Akufuado. Which one? The citizens, not spectators. He's swearing his oath he took. You should play it for us to hear. And just oppose it against what he's telling us today. Let me ask the question. Is the president insensitive? Is why, he an insensitive person? Why would you make that conclusion? After that all that is happening, after all that even Johnny's bite showed us, the food we are going to eat, the water we are going to drink. Is he an insensitive person? Will I be right in saying that? Does he not see what is going on? And can he not care? The president came to our houses 4th August, didn't he? Did he not? What did he come and tell us? What did he tell us? 4th August, he came into our house. What did you he mean tell the us? address? Yeah, what did he tell us? 
you told us about J.B. Dankwa and why J.B. Dankwa is a founder. The fact that J.B. Dankwa he sees as a founder and this particular issue, which is most important, which is most important, should he not be addressing us? He's president, isn't he? We gave him the power. Said, Mr. President, go there and what? Take care of our country for us. The power resides in us, but we are giving are it Are you to saying you. the president is not dealing with this as a national emergency? Is he? There's Would a you say ministerial yes? committee. Please. When was the last time you heard of the Inter ministerial committee? I said we want to hear from the president. We want him to come and talk to us. The way Otunfo talked to us. And Otunfo acted. That is the kind of, of, of leadership we are looking for. Huh? We have self imposed genocide and you see akufuado's albatross is galamse akufuado's one albatross is galamse jomahama's albatross was dumso akufuado's albatross is galamse we expect him and you see galamse more on water bodies this water body alluvial gold mining eh happened more in akufuado's tenure and we expect him to do something, can say something about it. This bit he's playing, just killing with, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 labor. You what think is, he's dodging them what playing chas killing? What, what, what chas killing is he playing? How can you use the word chas killing? What do you mean I can't use the word chas killing? Labor has said we are going to put this The country. president is playing chas killing yes, with organized labor. Yes, he is. He is, because he should be dealing with this problem. He should be dealing with this problem. Is he dealing with it? By talking to, what do you call it, labor. Is he dealing with it? The, the, the what do you call it, the, 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 the fact that the points that uh, 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 labor has, how long will it take to put in place? How long? How long will it take to put in place? You see, a lot of licenses, mining licenses have been given this year, haven't it? And some of those licenses were given to former galamseers. And some of these, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, small scale miners are doing galamse in water bodies. That is the challenge. And you're telling me the president doesn't see it? The president can't be bothered about it? This lies, you see, when he made that statement, the buck stops with me. This buck stops with him. It doesn't stop with anybody. And unfortunately, 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 his vice president seems to tell us that he's no more in power. He's more interested in campaigning when Ghana is dying. I expect the vice president to show Ghanaians, you say what? You want to be president. Show Ghanaians you can be president and take your boss on. Take your boss on. Let your boss realize the type of challenge this country is in. Look, I watched a BBC podcast the other day, which is being run by Martin Dennis. Eh? And one of the major things she talked about was Ghana's Galamse and showed the polluted water bodies to the world. Did he not just come from the UN? Did you not just come from the UN? Is that a good reflection on our country? Is that a good, would you say it's a good reflection on our country? The way the president is handling this issue of Galamse. Is it a good reflection on our country? I don't see how that's a good reflection on our country. Something that can, can pollute food we eat. Water, water. Life is water. You do absolutely nothing about it, and you're calling for what? You're calling for time. What kind of time? No, don't stop me. What kind of time? What kind of time is he looking for again? You have how many months to go? If for nothing at all, eh? If for nothing at all. If you feel you yourself, you won't be able to uh, uh, look at things. Please, please, call all the stakeholders in this country. The so-called big men in this country. First person, President Mahama. Second president, President Kufu. Utumfu. Sam Jonah. All these big people we, we, we give credence to. Sit them around the table. And tell them, 
We tried to bring committees in the first time round. It didn't seem to work. This is a national issue we need to tackle as a country. Please, let's tackle it together. The people are talking, you don't want to listen. And I beg, I beg, uh, my dear lady, Rebecca, Nanakufuado is your husband. Speak to him for us. I beg, speak to him for us. Because you see, this genocide might not happen today, but in the future it will happen. If we do not do something about it now, Sam Jonah, please, people respect you in this country. You've been in the mining industry for quite some time. Please speak to the president. PNM, please speak to the president. Because really, is the president benefiting from Galamse? Is he? Is he benefiting from Galamse? That's why he doesn't want to do anything about it. And if he is not benefiting from Galamse, is his party benefiting from Galamse? That's why he does not want to do anything. That's why he wants more time. What more time again the country is being destroyed what more time again this week i went to the local content seminar at the, what do you call it petroleum commission i was passing on the river pra i stood i drove i stood by the river pra for 15 minutes just looking at this huge expanse of water that looks like coffee and there were people around it trying to collect some of that water. Some couldn't decide whether they should collect it or not collect it. And these people, they are not as, as what do you call it? They are, they are not as, uh, they, they are not in, in the way I live. At least I have a house. At least I'm getting water. They have no question. They have to drink that water. The same place. And you are trying to tell me that Nana Kufuatu doesn't see this and he's not interested. I don't want, and I'll end here. I don't want, eh, after Nana Kufuadu has left, to liking him to Hitler, where genocide was being... Well, you're looking at me. Is, there, is this not self-imposed <laughs> genocide? Is it not? Are people not dying? He told us, I do not know how to bring people back, but I know how to bring the economy back. People dying, will he be able to bring them back? He said he put his presidency on the line. Did he understand what he meant by putting your presidency on the line? Did he understand it? Putting your presidency on the line means that if I do not get the result, I'm prepared to step down. Has he? Let's go on. Let's go on the way we are going on. Oh, oh. And in the end, we will see where Ghana will end.